Hello everyone, it's JP. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, it's been a while again since my previous video. And today, as you can tell by the title, we are going to go through another update. And yeah, it's it's pretty it's a pretty big one as you can see. We are back in the messy ratchet greenhouse. <laughs> oh god, okay, we'll get to that later. Okay, so, yeah, today we're just going to be going through all the plants and all the different things that I have around me. Also, we'll be going through all of the new plants that I acquired recently that have just been on my wish list and I've gotten. And, yeah, so let's get started, shall we? Alright, first we can just talk about this greenhouse. Oh my god. Okay, so, yeah, as you can see, there's a lot of holes. <laughs> everywhere. I've talked about this before in other videos, but yeah, this is just from the rain drying up, and then, yeah, there's just cresting away. Like, look at all the holes. I don't even know where those came from. <laughs> and yeah, I have it blocked here so my dogs don't come in and just... Okay, you'll see right now. I'll just show you. I have plants in the ground in my greenhouse. Because I just don't want to go outside in the front yard all the time. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's just weird. Because people drive by and it's just like, oh, hi, I'm just looking at my plants. <laughs> but, yeah, now I get to put them in the ground in my greenhouse. And it's totally cool. I think they'll love it. And, yeah, it keeps it kind of a more controlled area, I would say. And so, yeah different things. I have all my big frilly boys right here. Some of these are going to new homes. And there's a plane flying over me. How great is that? Alright. So now that the plane is gone, or is I, um, oh yeah. Okay, so I put all those in the ground right there. And I'm bringing in just my special guys. <laughs> my collection worthy plants. Um, or just things that I've uh, just loved since I started. Like this guy, I've had this guy for so long. It was just a little leaf prop and it just grew into three big beautiful things. So I'm really proud of that. So I just want to keep that where I can just constantly, you know, check on it. These I got recently. I'm just trying to train them <laughs> to the new environment. And yeah, just things like collection stuff. Cause over the summer, there was a lot of mealybugs, and they pretty much infested most of my plants, except my rarer or imported or, you know, whatever, collector plants, because they were on an entirely different table. And yeah, so thankfully nothing, not a lot, got infected. And if it did, it was just easy to get rid of. It was just like one or two mealybugs. So yeah. And, yeah, let's just go through and look at all of them. Oh, my God. Okay, so here is this beautiful... Um, oh, my God. This Compton is just perfection. I will definitely... I still need to make a video about how to care for these guys. Because I know a lot of people want them, but there's also that stigma that comes with Compton that they'll die over anything. And, you know, I just... I would like to share how I... Um, you know, cared for mine and how it looks so good. It's been doing it really nice. It's, yeah, I'll talk about it <laughs> in another video. I promise it'll come soon. Um, so yeah, here's this guy. The fall weather is coming upon us and so are the colors. This guy used to be just plain green. Now it's a beautiful peachy pink. Oh God, I just love fall. So, so beautiful. So yeah, all of them are doing really good. Like, oh my god, look at this beautiful Rudolph. This guy. My Madiba. Oh, look, there goes Maggie. <laughs> my Prism. Doing beautiful. And also, I'm going to make another video on how I care for my plants in general, not just the Compton specifically. That'll be a whole different video. Because, yeah, I'll just share what I've learned over my succulent years and how to take care of them 
in my environment, which is very dry and, you know, even if um, I don't live in certain environments, I can definitely offer my opinion on what works. So, yeah. What I got newly, I will show you right now. These two I got recently. This is an Echeveria Black Queen. These guys will get a beautiful, like, yellowish. I've had one last year, but they'll be get, they'll get, like, a darkish red. I don't know how to explain it, but, like, in the middle, how it's just turning red, kind of. That'll just, like, be, like, the center, and it'll grow out, and it'll be beautiful. This here is an Echeveria or Pachyphytum. I'm not sure. I think it's Pachyphytum or Pachyveria, something like that. <laughs> anyway, it's a Frevel hybrid beautiful and chubby and orangish on where the Frina has been blocked or just rubbed off but it's still beautiful <sighs> look how chubby I love the chubby ones next is I got one of the two of these guys this is an Echeveria looming Acavoidus looming um this guy right here Echeveria rubidana beautiful red pink so bright um i got one of these guys let me pull it out this is an echeveria um rainbow beyonce variegata i just had to get it because not only is it just extremely beautiful but the name like come on beyonce like what <laughs> oh yeah that, that, that that's just perfect <laughs> Here I got an Echeveria Linguas, very bumpy and beautiful. And back there, I got a Echeveria Red Ebony. Um, what else? Oh, here I have a big cluster of Echeveria Laurensis. Oh, yeah, that guy's falling out. Hold on. Okay. Here goes that one. Very beautiful. Get very pink and red, as you can see. So gorgeous. But yeah, most of the plants are doing really good. Let me know how your plants are doing in, in the comments. I want to know. Uh, here's this. Um, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. <laughs> I'll just put it down there it's a pachyphytum something i can't i'm not even gonna try but yeah very chubby and very beautiful oh my god i've wanted one of these and it's just so chubby okay anyway so yeah um yeah most things are doing pretty good so yeah just let me know how your plants are doing because i really want to know and what you're dealing with that's been a problem in your garden or in your collection. Because mine has definitely been mealybugs. For sure. Look at that. German champagne. The little baby. So cute. And yeah. Mostly everything is doing pretty good. And then over on this side of the ground part. I put a bunch of different things. A lot of my rarer ones, I guess you could say, are just imported. And yeah, they're doing pretty good as well. These ones sadly got mealybug attacked, as you can just see how messed up the center growth is. And on that guy, you can just see how weird it looks. Those were two of my ones I really didn't want to get mealybug attacked, but sadly they did. And I tried my best to clean it, but you know, we'll see how they uh, turn out. Here are some other things. Well, lots of things that were green before, like this guy, are turning us into bright red. Like this one's starting to, as you can see. It's becoming red in the center. Things are becoming more pink. I don't know if you can see. This guy used to be, just be kind of bluish, but there's like a kind of a pink hue to it like on that one too so yeah everything's looking pretty good 
Oh, I have two Comptons right here that are also doing really good. On the outsides, um, are kind of, you know, a little burnt, as you can see, right there, just like on the edges. But in the center growth, it's becoming beautifully compact and healthy. Not like, as you can see down there, it's kind of been stretching. But that was due to the how it was in a box for a while. So it's getting there. They're acclimating really well. Not burning completely, <laughs> thankfully. Here's one of my big um, Echeveria White Knights that I also got recently. And here's the other Echeveria Acavoidus looming. Such a bright red. Beautiful. Echeveria Mina right here. Looking good. I have lots of repeats over here. Like all those... Echeveria lipsticks, they were, and uh, they were labeled as Ebony's, but I'm not too sure about that. But we shall see. Oh, I have some Lithops here. Hopefully they'll do pretty good in here, since I didn't have any deep pots for them. So I figured putting them in the ground would be the next best thing, because they can have just an endless root rooting system. So yeah, also my dog came in when I didn't have this blockade and just kind of stepped on some things like like the lip hops as you can probably see, like how it's like cracked and stuff. That's from my dog. He just came in and just luckily he didn't step on anything big like this. Like, oh my God, I would have cried. Or my Comptons, I would have, I would have just, oof, oof. I don't know if I would even have a dog. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. Wink. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, luckily only the lithops seem to be damaged. Which seems odd because they're like the tiniest thing here to mess up. But yeah. Um, I put in this guy here. I have three different, or like four different things that are not just like, you know, plants in the ground, you know, just to add some pizzazz. I put my cotyledon orbiculatus in here. They're doing good. Oh, also, this is the only thing I have left of any of my variegated orbicula. And there's another plane. Woohoo! Okay, like I was saying, this is the only thing left of an, a variegated orbicula that I have left. The ones I showed you before, the, the head of this chopped one died. The other one I got that I showed, I think I did, I showed it. That one died, <laughs> so that's great, you know, only cost me $300, but you know, <laughs> so yeah, that really sucks, but in my grief of those dying, I did purchase another one, which should be coming Friday, and that one, <laughs> just as a pre-warning, if anyone is considering getting one of these beautiful things but yet super expensive ones do not buy a cutting do not just get something that's rooted um always rooted don't ever get a cutting it is just too risky i guess i don't know man like it would just be a hundred times better to get something rooted so yeah just <laughs> That's my advice to you, because those were cuttings, and they did die. They didn't have any, you know, it was, I don't know. So yeah, that's my two cents. Um, here are some violet queens. Yeah, violet queens, or silver queens. Ooh, silver. Yeah, silver queens, right? Oh, God. <laughs> I think it's silver, silver queens. Okay, yeah. And I also have some... Textensis, one, two, over there, three, and yeah, those are really beautiful. Very gorgeous, and pupping crazily. Um, what else? Oh, we have some elegans right there, over there. I have a Lowie, just chilling. 
<laughs> um, pink butterflies that I just put in there recently. I think they'll like it. Oh, here's my other new one. This giant Echeveria Madiba. Gorgeous. This is a, like a 10-inch pot. Massive boy. Let's see. Also, we have my orange Monroe just chilling here. And a champagne of some sort, maybe a pink champagne, I'm not too sure. Here we have something, I don't quite remember what that is. There's a Mensa over there. And here's a big pot of my um, Echeveria Silver Queen Variegata. They've got tons of babies, as you can see. So yeah, that's pretty insane that they're going to be growing more heads than this. So I'm just going to keep them there until it grows huge <laughs> into a massive cluster. And I just have some random leaves thrown around, and here's a cream tea for some reason. <laughs> and so yeah, that's mainly this area. I still have in the greenhouse. I still have a bunch of stuff. Let's see. Hold on. Oh yeah, I got some <laughs> giant flapjacks or Kalanchoe Lucier. This one's really weird. Like, I don't know if this is, uh, I don't know if that's a hybrid because look at how this one is curving in. Like, look at that. It has like a lip under it. So it's like curved. It's really weird. This one doesn't have those curves, really. And this one's kind of grown. And this one's leaves are just freaking humongous. So I don't know if it's a different hybrid or what. I don't know. Or maybe they're the same. And I'm just dumb. Like I'm out eating grass. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, the Aeoniums are kind of waking up from their dormancy. Everything's blooming, finishing off. My Echeveria Hawaii is looking good. It's got some babies. This guy, I have no idea what it is. <laughs> but it's looking beautiful. But yeah, I have still have a bunch of things over there. And I just don't want to deal with it because it's all infected. I'm probably just going to throw it in the trash because I just don't want to deal with it. <laughs> Which is sad to say, but, you know, whatever. Oh, also, I have started off on my, um, what's it called? Houseplant journey, which I will show you what I'm talking about right now. All right, so I'm standing here because I need something to film before I show you. But... Anyway, I was at Walmart, just, you know, browsing the things, you know, that Walmart has to offer. And, you know, I was just looking through the houseplant stuff, just, you know, dream. <laughs> because I cannot, I, do, I, mm, I don't have the lighting for houseplants in my house. It's, I don't have any good natural light coming in. So that's why I've just been putting off getting a houseplant. But, as I was just browsing around, I found this bad boy. Let me put it down. This, as probably a lot of you may know, is a Hoya Compacta Variegata, or commonly known as, um, Frick. What's it called? Um, Hindu rope. Hindu rope variegata. And I was like, what? <laughs> At Walmart? I see these online, like, all the time. And I'm like, oh, those are so pretty. And I just found this big freaking thing at Walmart. Like, what? It was only, got this, $10. <laughs> and so I just had, had to get it. It was the only one there. And it was just so stunning, like, the variegation, all the beautiful cream, white, 
colors mixed with those dark greens it's just how could I not get it you know and so I just have it hanging on that and so like it gets shade most of the day and then like in the evening sun comes up from you know where it sets and so that's the light it gets at the end of the day like at five o'clock ish and it's just so beautiful and like oh my god it's just so gorgeous like I couldn't just not get it and so yeah that's the start of my um houseplant journey with this guy this beautiful beautiful boy Look at him. Oh my god. It's so big. What do you think, Mo? Hey. <laughs> so yeah, that's that. <laughs> and now we're inside looking at the seeds. Since many of you wanted to know about it. Doing so good. So yeah. And we're back outside and as you can see, the mess. <laughs> All of what used to be here. So some stuff to move into the greenhouse. All this table is where all my collection, my main collection used to be. And this is all mainly infected with gross mealybugs. Huh, Maggie? Huh, Maggie? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's that. Pretty much all grossly infected with mealybugs. Not everything, not everything, but a good handful. I don't think this table has really been touched by mealybugs, so that's really good. It's mainly like that table and like kind of that stuff. I've kind of thrown away any mealybug infested plants. Like it was just so disgusting. I didn't even like have time for it. If it does have mealybugs, it's very minimal and I will take care of it. And so, yeah, that's what these plants are doing here. Yeah. All right, and so I think that's the end of this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed. And if you have any questions about anything, definitely leave a comment. Like I said before, remember, I want to hear about your current, um, current situation with your plants. Let me know how you're doing with yours, if you have any, and if you don't, you know, definitely get a succulent you know do it <laughs> yeah just tell me how you're doing your situation if you're dealing with any disgusting pests um you know maybe some if you need help uh definitely leave it down below in the comments to see if someone can help you or if i can help you and yeah you know um so yeah have a good day everyone and goodbye all right, it is currently Friday, and this was filmed yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. And I just got something in the mail. First, this is from Succulents by V on Instagram. First, I just want to show you the freebie she gave me. This cute little Horthia. Look at that. Look at those windows. gorgeous I do not have anything really like this so this is exciting alrighty and y'all already know if you want if you've been watching dun, dun, dun. can't focus boom this is a cotyledon Orbiculata variegated. I got this guy for a really good price, so I'm really 
excited. I saw she sent me a picture of it before I bought it. So I knew it was wrinkly, and I but I wanted it anyway. I'm literally shaking. I'm just gonna give this guy some, put this guy in water therapy so it can plump up right away. Then I'll pot it in here. Oh my god, so excited. And this was in wake after my other ones died. So like I said earlier, this is the only one left besides now this guy. So that's size comparison for you. It's pretty close. A little bit smaller but beautiful 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 all right <laughs> now the video is over i hope you guys enjoyed and yeah goodbye